Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Very early Saturday morning right here. I've got a couple of garage sales to get stuck into today. And then Vinny's. Vinny's has a 50% off special happening today as well. So there's a lot of items to find out in the op shop. So I'm gonna put it to the test. What is better, garage sales or thrifting? Let me know in the comments below. Let's start the conversation. What do you prefer, thrifting or garage sales? I'll let you know what I think a little bit later on in the episode. But like I said, there's so much to get stuck into today. Hopefully you get some value out of it. If you wanna learn a thing or two about how to sell on eBay and Facebook Marketplace, go ahead, hit the subscribe button if you're here for the first time. And for everybody else, welcome back. Hit the like button. Let's get into the first garage sale. Oh, fingers crossed it stops stuff. for you. Lots of kids stuff. Yeah, anyway. there is, isn't there? So guys, I'm doing my best to grab as much as I possibly can in here because I am the only one in this garage sale at the moment, which is an opportunity to strike. I'm gonna pick up that champion hat. That was only a couple of dollars. I've also found this green eggs and ham in the kids books area. I was really digging for as many Dr. Seuss books as I could possibly find. But in the end, I only found two. They aren't the rare ones that you can find uh, on the internet going for about $100. I was really hoping I'd come across one, but unfortunately I didn't. Um, I didn't really do too many comp searching on all of these individual books. I was looking for more sets of books. Um, so I just didn't think there was worth my time. I probably could have got them for about 50 cents. This one's to, one to look out for, a little golden book. Um, if you can find series of that, I think there are about 10 of them in that little bundle. Um, and then another Dr. Seuss book I found too. So there were a couple of things there. And how much for the plush toys? Oh, um, I'll just 15 altogether if that's all yeah, right. Yeah, I'll keep going. Okay, I'll, okay. I'll put it all. I've got a couple more things. The books, sure. how much on those? Oh, I don't know. Yep. Um, where were they? And I had these. I had three books and a hat. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. That one's five if you don't mind. On the hat? Yeah. So what do we got? It's a designer one. <laughs> oh, is it? Yep, so what was what I say there? 15, 15, 20, just make it 20 all together. 20 bucks? Yeah. No worries, I can okay? do that. Yeah. I've got a $20 note, oh, yeah. perfect, all right. Yes. Not too far. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pity I couldn't find two more. There were two more, but I don't know what happened to them. Yeah. At least that, you've got that. Oh, I do appreciate nice. that. There is a champion bag as well, but. Oh, where was that one? Um, with the other bags up there. Thank you very much. Yeah. Right. All right, guys, first garage sale done. Um, I spent 20 bucks, as you would have seen in the conversation. A couple of Dr. Seuss books. These will probably go for about maybe 20 bucks. Um, they aren't the rare ones or the ones that are sort of in the news at the moment um, that are worth a little bit more. But, yeah, Green Eggs and Ham, that's about $15 on eBay. And it's probably about 5 bucks for Whale of a Tail as well. So two Dr. Seuss books. I'll probably bundle them up and do them as one individual listing um, for $20 plus postage. Um, I only paid a dollar each for those. I found a Mickey Mouse uh, original from Disneyland, Mickey Mouse. So you can always rely on these. They're only a couple of dollars in the end. Um, so that maybe, I don't know, 25 to $30 free postage. Plus always does really well at garage sales because they, they generally get rid of them for about a dollar each. Um, apparently this is Tom and Jerry's girlfriend. Um, so I asked the question, I said, who is this? I asked the question because this one had the Disney tag on it. It was a genuine, a genuine plush toy um, from the Disney store. So you're always going to get a few more dollars um, when you're getting it, you know, genuine Disney. Um, and then I also found these, well, she actually pointed them out. Um, it was these DVDs. It was a book and a CD. So all the classics, you've got Cinderella, you've got The Little Mermaid, you've got Bambi. Um, but basically, it's it's a how to read um, series. So I can sell, sell it as a set of six. 
Um, and I don't know how much it'll be. I didn't even bother doing the comps, but she gave it to me for five bucks for the six CDs. So I'm about 90 cents in on each one. And I think something like that, I could probably go $30. She said that it all worked really well. Um, so maybe 30 bucks. I'll, I'll do some research into it. Uh, I also found a champion hat that was in really good condition. So I thought I'd just nick that more so just because of the brand. Um, snapback caps do sell really well for me. So I, I thought I'd nick that for a dollar. And then I'm always collecting my Guinness World Record books, guys. You guys know that if you watch this channel regularly. Um, Guinness World Records 2010. I don't think I have 2010. It was the only one they had in that garage sale. I thought, so I thought I'd just pick that one up as well. So I don't know how many items I've got there, maybe six or seven, and I've only paid $20. So a really low purchase and it should go on to make at least a hundred dollars so first garage sale down and uh we've maybe made about eighty dollars so let's get off to the next one hey guys hi how are you are you tall matt no. close matt. oh sorry i'm waiting on a tall how are you <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, not a whole lot going on in here, but I have found these VHS tapes, and they can actually go on to sell for some pretty good money. The ones that we're looking at here, Bananas in Pajamas, Teletubbies, Peter Rabbit, they all go for about $10. So in the end, I have passed on these ones. Um, I did go for a bit of a look through these as well. Now, these are a bunch of old school anatomy and nursing textbooks, and believe it or not, it can actually be worth a bit of money. What I look for when I'm looking at my textbooks is first editions. The ones that we're looking at here, they're ranging between third edition through to fifth edition. Um, so in the end, I did pass on these. I think with this garage sale and the rest of the garage sales today, I've just come out a touch too late, um, at least for this one anyway. The one this morning was better, but this one, no good. All right, guys, unfortunately, uh, no other garage sales close by, so we're going to go to a Vinnie's because there is 50% off store-wide in every single Vinnie's across Queensland today. So, fingers crossed there's some good stuff in here. I've pulled up out the front of Vinnie's and we'll jump in and see. Garage sales are a little bit quiet today, just a couple of items, but uh, hopefully we can get into the Vinnie's and find some really cool stuff. So, let's get in there. We'll see you soon. So guys, the first thing that I've noticed in this Vinnie's is it is busy. Everyone clearly knows about the 50% off sale. These ASICS running shoes, they were in a little bit worn used condition. There was a $10 tag, so I would have got them for five bucks, but in the end, I did pass. These New Balance men's running shoes as well, there was a $12 tag on these, so I could have got them for $6. The soles aren't too bad, but in the end, I passed on those as well. One thing that I didn't pass on are these Puma uh, casual shoes, women's casual shoes, US size 11. They're black and white, uh, and there was a tag on them for, I think it was $15. So in the end, I paid $7.50 for those ones. There was a heap of games as well to pick from, a lot of PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3. The best of the bunch was probably this Sleeping Dogs PlayStation 4 game. Goes for about $25 free postage. And then I've been able to collect all of these games, Drive Club, 15, Smackdown, about 20 bucks for that. This was the best, $35 for the combo pack. The Last of Us, again, probably another $15. Black Ops 2, you get about 20 bucks for that on eBay. Zootopia, there was a comp for $30, brand new sealed, which is what I've got there. And there it is there again, Sleeping Dogs. I also found the Sims 3 extension packs. So there are actually five of these and they came to a total cost of $5. I got them for a dollar each. So they all sell for around $10 to $12. So not a huge profit, but I think I can turn them into $60 once they all sell. So I thought I'd grab those as well. Uh, Del Toro Quest guys in the books, I've just sold a set of eight. I've found another set of eight. And the last set that I did sell ended up selling for $60. So this is a book series you really wanna find when you're out in the thrift. Uh, really happy to get my hands on that one. Elmo, Elmo Learning Center or the Elmo Learning Adventures books. Um, I almost bought those. The Eagles Farewell Tour. This was in that trolley hiding behind the counter and I spied it. I saw the glistening gold and I said, can I get my hands on that? And they said, yes, no worries at all. So I picked that one up and I also grabbed a Wallace and Gromit DVD. Guys, I spent $40 for everything that you just saw there. All right, guys, I couldn't end it there on 50% off date with just the one at Vinnie's. So I've got another one just around the corner, uh, which we're here at now. And we'll end the day there. We'll just do this second one. We'll see what we can get. 
so far I've had a pretty good first stop. $60, $40 spent actually, and then $20 in the garage sale. So, so far things are okay, but I want to get a few more things. So let's get into Vinnie's and we'll see what we can get. So we've done pretty well in that uh, little off shop there. Um, they're actually closing. It's um, it's one o'clock and they were closing up, but I was able to get a couple of items before they did. The best of the bunch were these Vans high tops when I first walked in. They're in really good condition. I'm gonna clean the uh, the upper sole, but they should turn out to be really good condition. The soles are great themselves. Um, oh, probably about 50 to 50 to $60 for those. I normally do Vans for about 40 bucks, but being a high top, I might go a little bit more for that. Um, I've got some really cheap, um, Bob the Builder series. So I've got Bob the Builder series three, four, and five. So I mean, I only paid about 20 cents each for those. I'll bundle them up and we'll just see how we go. I might do it for 15 to 20 dollars, something like that. I really thought that this game was, or this uh, DVD series, Alien one to four, the quadrilogy, uh, was going to be comping for a whole lot more than it did. I've only paid a dollar for it in the end for the four seasons or the four series. Um, but yeah, unfortunately it was only comping for about 20 to $25. So I had to grab it anyway. Um, season one of this TV show, Modus, um, I've picked that up. That was comping for about, I think it was about $24 for a pre-owned copy, which I thought was pretty, pretty good, pretty worthwhile. I've only paid again about 20 cents for it. Um, and then I found this God, Gods, Goddesses and Warriors. Never heard of it, but it's brand new sealed and it's got the History Channel um, up the top there, as you can see. So brand new sealed, I paid $4 for it. Um, and there were comps on uh, eBay for about 35 bucks. So not a bad little pick up there. Um, so that was everything. A really short, sharp run there. They, they were closing up. I would have spent more time otherwise, but two op shops, two garage sales. I've spent 20 bucks overall at the garage sales. I've now spent 11 and 40. So I've spent $51 in the op shops and to be honest my preference is always op shops i just think that i've got more time to spend sifting through everything in an op shop versus a garage sale where you've just got to be quick you've got to know what you want you've got to see it grab it and know that you can profit from it and i just prefer to have a bit more time to sift through use the comps on ebay uh, and find the best uh, profit you can so um, look, it's been fun today. Let me know in the comments below. What do you prefer? Do you like garage sales? Do you like op shops? Which do you prefer? Let me know in the comments. It'd be great to hear it. Let's start the conversation. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Bit of a versus episode, which is better. I, I don't mind doing that. Um, mix things up a little bit. Normally, we'd, we'd do a what sold uh, video here on a Sunday, but I'm going to change things up a little bit and start mixing up a few different videos. So uh, look forward to that. And um, yeah, guys, we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon. <laughs>